Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Taco Rick channel. As you guys saw from the thumbnail today, I have my girlfriend right here, Christine, and she's going to be personally installing new LED headlights and LED interior lights on her car herself. I don't know you told me that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell her that, but she's actually going to do all the work herself. So enjoy. Enjoy. Here we go. First step, you got to pop the hood. We're going to test her knowledge of her car. It's a 2013 Honda Elantra. Now, where's your headlights? This is where I come in, right? I think you have to like remove it's, shit to get yeah, to them. Yeah, you, you do. These ones are really, really do suck. So we're gonna help along. Before we get to that though, let's look at what we're actually gonna be installing. So we're doing LED headlights and LED interior lights. We have the LED interior lights. They're linked in the description down below. These are the Dio Dynamics SL1 LED headlights. Stupid bright headlights are the ones that I rock in the Tacoma, which is right over there, over there. These are gonna be super bright. She's got the ugly amber lights right now. We're gonna make these headlights absolutely ridiculously bright. You're probably gonna get flashed by other people on the highway. So headlights on the Elantra are not easy to say the least. The passenger side is very easy. We'll get to that in a second, but basically you unscrew it over there. This side is really hard to say the least because you can't actually access it. The wonderful engineering of Hyundai, I can't say it. They put the fuse box literally right up against the headlight. So you have to unbolt this bolt here, 12 millimeter and the two 10 millimeters here to be able to pull out the damn headlight, like whole assembly to actually replace your headlight bulb. Great, great engineering because on the side of the road and you got a headlight bulb out, good luck doing that. So we're gonna have Christine get started with the passenger side, which is very simple. Simple. So there you go. Now you got the bulbs on the inside there. Okay. And you gotta twist the bulb. Which one's the bulb? It's the big thing that's sticking in here. This is right here. That's the bulb. You're gonna With twist it clockwise. Out? Yeah. Twist it clockwise. Oh. And then that's it comes it? out. And then don't touch the actual filament of the bulb itself. Because if you touch that, it can cause it. That's a little pro tip. If you touch that bulb, it could actually cause it to uh, stop working over time, even though we're replacing it. So now you need to unclip it. Can you tell how you unclip it? You pin, this, oh, the whole pinch, thing? Pinch the two gray things, and then it, you should be able to pull it off. Pinch the bottom of the two gray things. There you go, and then it pops off. Oh. Very simple. So that's your bulb. Now we can go get the LED bulb and put it in. Kind of curious if it'll fit, to be honest, because of the, the back end, but yeah. Before you do that, because they're a one-way bulb, we need to turn them on. All right, so now you gotta reverse it. So you're gonna stick it in like this, and then turn it into place counterclockwise. I guess it depends on how you're looking at it. But. All right, so in no means was that easy at all. That's a pain. These, this is a terrible design, honestly, in my opinion, for trying to put headlights on. Whenever they put these little enclosure backs on them, they're so hard because you have to like maningle your fingers in there, and it just is not easy. But we got the LED in, they just shut off. That one's in, now we get to move on to the harder one, which that one was already fun enough. Good job. So there's your little before and after way brighter way cleaner anyways they just went off so now we're going to remove this headlight supposedly based on what we've seen online so we need 10 millimeter sockets and a 12 millimeter socket and you're you're gonna you're gonna do it okay okay all right so this is the fun part removing the light um we were watching videos online on how to do it i'm gonna let her try first supposedly you gotta like rock it back and forth and lift it forward I just don't see how you can do that because that lip right there. Oh. Look at that. You need some man muscles. That's what that is. There's only one thing to disconnect. That's it. So there's one connection that holds it all together. So now we can access this. Turn it counterclockwise. Pull it out, disconnect it. Don't worry about connecting it yet. Worry about trying to get it in there first. So look at where the, the big one is and line it up with the big slot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. Now connect it up and we'll have to see if that's the right way or not. Okay. Let there be light. Both sides are on. So inside the little cover cap, this is kind of how it looks. So the diode dynamic is right here. We put the box to the side. The connector's also in here as well as it's falling out of my way. Um, so it's all tucked in there inside. It fits no problem. Put the lid on it and uh, we'll be good to go. And you should be able to just push this down in. Just bolt it back up and we'll be good. That is the headlights. Go ahead, turn it on. There you go. Bright LEDs from Dio Dynamics. These things are ridiculously bright. So there you go. And there you go. Now, before you guys comment down below, we are gonna be detailing her car eventually here. Um, probably not on the channel unless you guys ask for it, but we will be cleaning the engine bay. That was actually one of the first questions she asked because she didn't know you could clean it so we're gonna clean it hadn't been clean in six years y'all anyways we're gonna move on to the interior so some easier stuff to do all we need is a straight screwdriver these are the lights we're replacing all right so to remove these you're just gonna pry right beside those 
and just pull up on the bottom. On the bottom. Oh. It pops right out. Wow. And then we're going to do the other side. Just pop those out. Now you're going to grab these bulbs in here and just pull them out. They just kind of pop out here. Just pull them out. They kind of just slide out. So you can like use your finger on the top there and just slide them out of the slot. There you go. So then you're just going to put the LED back in. Just pop it in both sides. There oh, you go. Okay. And now you should be able to Nice and bright. I can put my makeup on in here. Put your cover back in. There you I'm go. Seeing blue spots, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and now ah! you have ex Yay! ridiculously bright interior lights now. Let's see. Oh hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna move to the back seats now. You see that awesome truck right there? You can learn more about that truck on this channel. Don't break my car. I got it. Oh, there we go. That is a really tight fit, to say the least. There we go. All right, now you can pull the light out and put the LED in. Warm, oh, yeah, they, they're normally pretty warm. Make sure you line up right and put it in. It's in. Here, let's see. Yep, Woo! it works. I'd say that's in. It's bright. The sun just rose in here. Now you should be able to pop this in. So now we have all LED on the inside as well. We actually got one more LED bulb. We're probably gonna put it in the trunk because we have one We have one additional one. This kit came with four, so we can put one more somewhere. The one nice part with the Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai Elantras, all of the interior lighting bulbs are all the same, which is pretty nice because like in the Tacoma, there's like three different bulb sizes. You got to do but what ones up front are different from the other ones. All of these are the same size bulbs, so it makes it really nice and easy when you got to replace them. So we're going to go see where we want to put this other one. I think there's one underneath your hood too that you can put it in. We'll see. I read online that there's normally ones on the mirrors and in the hood and one in the trunk. So we'll see which one's available. So um, her model doesn't have a light up here. It would be right right here. No light. So we go to the trunk. So in the trunk, we have the light right here, which looks very simple. Like it literally looks like you just push this and it popped up. Wow, that was that was it. I don't necessarily know how it comes apart. First off, let's unclip this somehow. Got it, okay. Got it. There's there's two tabs on the back side, and you gotta use a screwdriver to pry it off. But it comes out right there. We can pull the bulb out by releasing on the clamp right here. Let's the bulb slide out. Get our LED, point the LED down. There you go. And now you should, uh, when I plug it into here, should work instantly. Right there it goes. Bright LED. Let's put this cap back on. There we go. Now we should be able to connect that up. We got a super bright LED now. And we slide it in. And there we go. Oh, so we did this before we ever started filming, but like, what was it, a month ago, we put new backup lights in here. Yeah. Show the people the super bright. You can actually see them right there in the window. You can see inside the light. Those are her backup lights. They are extremely bright. I'm not sure how much you can see that, but these things are like strobe lights at night. Those are the lights. All right, guys, that was a very, very quick video. We basically did an all LED install on Christine's uh, Hyundai, Hyundai. Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> Uh, 2013, right? Put down the comment section down below if you guys want to see us do some more mods to our car and what do you guys want to see done? We're thinking about blacking out all the rims. The rims are like this chrome. Yeah, we're thinking about blacking out the rims, maybe Plasti Dip or who knows. But anyways, Christine, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Please. What do you, well, no, what do you think of the LEDs? Oh, I think those are pretty. I think those are pretty. Like I said, I'll link everything down in the description down below. Diodynamics SL1 headlights, best headlights you can buy. I 100% best. They'll, I'll link them down below. They have them for every make, every model. Put them on your vehicle. They're awesome. If you guys want brighter headlights than factory. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Christine, anything? Thank you. <laughs> Taco Rick out. Peace. Oh, as a bonus, while I'm filming this video, uh, today is Sunday. Yesterday, actually, I was working on another car. Uh, my boy Marcel is his girl, Hannah brought her Honda Civic down here 2019 and had a lot of chrome on it. And you know how I feel about chrome. We had to black that out and this thing turned out sick. So we plasti dipped practically everything on this Civic um, and I'll go through it real quick. But basically plasti dipped the emblems. So the Honda emblem is blacked out. We did these fangs right here. So this is all plasti dip as well. We did the trim piece here. So all the way around the outside Speaking of Marcellus, there, there he is. You can't really see him, but. So the whole entire piece that wraps around the outside of the windows, this was all chrome. So that's been all plasti dipped as well. We have the back badges here, the Civic badge, the Honda badge, 
Uh, this piece down here at the bottom was all chrome, so that's all blacked out now as well. And uh, she has hubcaps, and instead of just being very detailed with the hubcaps, we literally just plasti dipped the whole hubcap. So all the hubcaps are black, blacked out, and this thing just turned out sick. It's it's dope. So just for reference, here's some nighttime driving shots at uh, how bright these headlights are. Very bright and uh, solid. That's why I always recommend these are the best headlights you can buy. Dynamics. Also, on the inside of the car, if you want to turn on the LEDs, they're blinding. They're blinding. It's like the sun shone. Mm-hmm. When you turn this light on, yeah, overexposure. Yeah, so these are actually way brighter than the ones that are in my truck. I might look for some even brighter ones for my truck in the future. But uh, nighttime shots, uh, these are bright as can be. Especially, she's got tinted windows, and when we walked up to her car at night and she unlocked it, you could see everything on the inside of her car. They are just ridiculously bright.